write the following decimal in ascending and descending order. First set of decimals 0 0.1, 2 0.2, 1.5. These are like decimals as they are the same number of decimal places. That is, each decimal of same number of digits after the decimal point. So, compare the whole number part of the given decimal. Whole number part means the number before the decimal point of each given decimal. So, here the whole number part is 0, here it is 2, here it is 1. 0 is less than 1 and 2. So, 0 0.1 is the smallest of these three decimals. Descending order, we have to write the smallest decimal first. Write 0 0.1 here. Now compare the remaining two decimals. Comparing the whole number part, 1 is less than 2. So, 1.5 smaller than 2.2. So write 1.5 here, then the leftover decimal 2.2. 2.2 is the biggest of these three decimals. Descending order, it is the reverse of ascending order. So write 2.2, then 1.5, and then 0.1. Next set of decimals, 11.25, 11.88, 11.32. These are like decimals as they have the same number of decimal places. So, we have to write them in ascending and descending order. So, compare the whole number part of the given decimal. This decimal contains 11 in the whole number part. This decimal contains 11 in the whole number part. This decimal contains 11 in the whole number part. So, all the decimals have the same whole number part. So, compare the tenth place. That is, the first place after the decimal point. Here it is 2. Here it is 8. Here it is 3. 2 is less than 3 and 8. So, 11.25 is the smallest of the three decimal write 11.25 here now compare the remaining two decimal both have same whole number part so compare the tenth place here it is eight here it is three and three is less than eight so 11.32 is smaller than 11.88 write 11.32 here now the leftover decimal 11.88. 11.88 is the biggest of these three decimals. Descending order it is the reverse of ascending order. So write 11.88 first, then 11.32, then 11.25. Next set of decimals. 33.9, 20.31, These are unlike decimals. This is having one decimal place. This is having two decimal places. This is having three decimal places. So, maximum number of decimal places is three. So, convert all the decimals into decimals with three decimal places by appending zeros as required. This is having one decimal place. So append two zeros to the right of nine so that it becomes a decimal with three decimal places. So we can write this as 33.900. This is having two decimal places. So append one zero to the right of one so that it becomes a decimal with three decimal places. So we can write this as 20.310. This is already having three decimal places. So we need not make any changes to it. Write it as it is. 67.125. Now these three are like decimals. So compare the whole number part of these three decimals. 
This is having 33 in the whole number part. This is having 20 in the whole number part. This is having 67 in the whole number part. 20 is smaller than 33 and 67. So 20.310 is the smallest of the three decimals. So ascending order, write the smallest decimal first. 20.310. Comparing the remaining two, this contains 33 in the whole number part, this contains 67 in the whole number part, 33 is less than 67. So, 33.900 is smaller than 67.125. So, write 33.900 here. Now, the left over decimal 67.125. 67.125 is the biggest of the three decimals. Descending order, it is the reverse of ascending order. So write 67.125 first, then 33.900, then 20.310.